Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, Turtle Beach P11 headset. Um, I actually just got it as a gift um, about a month ago. And uh, let's see if you can see that. It's kind of blurry, but whatever. Uh, I got this headset a month ago, and uh, it's done really well for me. Of course, um, it is the first surround sound headset that I've ever gotten, and I'm sorry that I don't have the box. I didn't really want to, or I didn't have my phone yet, so I couldn't do a review of the unbox or couldn't do the unboxing. But today I'm going to show you like um, how exactly you're going to set it up. Um, uh, yeah, just a little bit on how to set it up, and then uh, just mostly how the headset is. First, you might be able to see the. Uh, here, hold on one second. Okay, now I got the light on. Um, you can see the 50 millimeter speakers, which uh, is really nice. They're um, it's great for when you're playing a game like Battlefield. Then um, it really gets you immersed in the game. And my whole ear fits in right in this space here, which is what it should do. And then uh, a lot of people. Like when I was reading reviews for it, finding out whether or not this would be a good headset, a lot of people thought that the mic went on the right side, so they had their mic on the wrong side, so they thought tanks were coming up behind them when really they were right in front of you. Now I thought that was pretty funny. So in the headset, um, that's pretty much all about the he all about the headset. It's got like a cushion up here for your head and it's really lightweight it's like I don't even think it's a it's it's really lightweight I'm not exactly sure how much it weighs because I don't have like an ounce swear but it's maybe like a pound and that's it and um yeah and anyway the cushion yeah it's for your head so I would be really comfortable with uh if I had a long gaming session and then the mic straps down on either side see right now you would be able to do it on the right side but since it uh it reverses then i'll actually show you something in a little bit that you can do but anyway the mic is pretty good i don't think you can see the individual holes but yeah they are there and uh it's it feels just like a weird it feels like a cool material honestly hi are you going to help me out with my review, Bella? No? Okay. Just a little camera sh camera shy. And then, after the uh, 10, I think I'm pretty sure it's a 10 foot wire, we get to the uh, control panel. And I'm not sure if uh, you guys can see the picture clearly, but pretty much Air Force P11. That's chat, and that's game. I'm sorry that you can't see it. And it's got the Turtle Beach. And um, right here, this little LED right here, when it's on, here, let me plug this in for you real quick. See, right now, when it's on, it's green. That's when you're not muted, and you can just flick that switch and you're muted. Game, obviously, controls how loud the game sound is, and chat um, controls how long or how loud the people talking to you are. So, it's, I think that's neat. Of course, a lot of headsets have that, but the P PX21 my friend has, and it's got like six dials, and um, it's like bass boost and everything, and that's that's a little complicated. I like it just how it is, and um, you know, just and now you can just feel what the mute button is. You don't even have to look at it. Feel what the mute button is on the other side. You can turn up the game, and then if not, then you just slide your hand down and turn up the chat. So that's it for the control panel. Oh, and if you feel like hooking it onto your belt, then you can do that. That's the control panel, and now, for example, if you're using it on a... Oh, I forgot to tell you, uh, the Turtle Beach P11 is PS3 and PC made. It's not necess... I don't think it works on Xbox. Of course, I don't have an Xbox, and I haven't tried it, but yeah. So now, um, let me show you how to hook it up. This right here, it's for PC how to hook it up. It's got the USB, and then it's got the headphone jack. So you're going to want to plug the USB into the USB slot, and then the headphone jack into the headphone slot. And then uh, 
on your PC in the bottom right corner or whatever. It'll come up with, you know, Windows is installing drivers, blah, blah, blah. And then you just have to set it in your control panel to the default sound. But to set it up for PS3, it's a little bit more complicated. Now, first off, this is a cable that comes with it. You don't have to buy this separately. It has these two audio splitters, and at the end, it's got this headphone. So, pretty much, you... You figure this part out pretty easily. Plug it into the USB port on your PS3. And then for these guys, you're going to want to take these. Ugh, come back here to the side of your computer. And find which slot you're going to plug it into, which is right here. You're going to want to plug the red one into the red one. The white one into the white one. And then you're going to want to turn on your TV. Ha, huh, just kidding. And then you take the red one and the white one from your actual cables and plug that in. Sorry, you can't see. Plug that into there and plug that into there. And then you come down back to here and you see this and you see this. And you're going to want to plug that in. And honestly, I find it difficult to plug in because it's that's like one of the only downsides it's difficult to plug in so I'm gonna move this over here so you can kinda see what I'm doing and then I'm just gonna lay it down okay hopefully you guys can see this but um it's the headphone cable and the thing that plugs into your TV you just kinda snap it in it actually is pretty difficult Okay, now that we're done with that, you turn on your PS3, and, um, that actually is something that I like to show you. Um, like, in my case, I'm using an HDMI cable, and I'll show you also how to, uh, get it to go... Okay, hold on, I gotta plug this in. Oops. I'm gonna show you how to, uh, get it to, uh come out of the TV and the headset so that you don't have to, um, well, for one reason, so you can actually play on the HDMI setting. Um, okay, so I'm going to turn the flash off real quick. And then, uh, zoom in just a little. Actually, a lot. I, I was kidding. Uh, you're going to want to go to settings. And then I'm fairly sure it's audio setting or sound settings. And sorry, my PS3 is uh, not responding, so we're just going to have to hold on for a second. And then audio multi-output. You're going to put it to on. It's, it's set to off, but you do on. Um, because then it'll come out of the HDMI and it'll come out of the headset. And that's really handy for, you know, if you don't feel like talking on your, if you don't feel like listening to your headset, then you just, you know, unplug this. Because if not, you might hear an echo. And if you do, then you can just turn your TV volume down. And that's about it. So yeah, that's my review on a Turtle Beach P11 headset. And, uh, oh, wow. You think the first thing I would tell you is how much it costs. It's about... It's about fifty dollars, and honestly, and for my opinion, this is a great deal for fifty dollars. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.